I'm bringing you a word the Lord gave me um, a little while back when I found myself in confinement. I was confined uh, to my bed. And in that season, the Lord said, don't waste the season you're in. You can grow in confinement. And now we find ourselves on lockdown. We find ourselves in confinement and there's a lot of fear going around what will happen after confinement. But I want to say that you can be better after confinement than you were before you went into confinement. And that's the word from the Lord. I want to speak about a man in Genesis 39, Joseph. In Genesis 39, you see that Joseph was locked up. You know, he was incarcerated, he was in prison. There was no sentencing for Joseph. He, no one said, Joseph, for this crime you committed, 10 years in prison. No, there was no such thing. He was just thrown in. How do you grow when you don't even know when you're coming out? I believe that Joseph was able to keep growing and sharpening his gifts and his abilities because he already had a word from God before he was confined. What have you heard from God? What has God said to you before your confinement? During confinement, you don't allow it die. During the time when you're not able to do the things that you would love to do, don't allow the things God said to you die. Don't allow your gifts die. Don't allow yourselves wilt. Don't allow yourself to be so discouraged because of a temporary situation. Joseph was not discouraged. He continued to get deeper with his walk with God. It was so clear that he was getting deeper. Everyone favored him because the favor of God was on his life. One day, the Pharaoh's butler and baker were thrown into prison and they both had dreams. And when they had dreams, they needed someone to interpret. I can imagine if were you and I, and they came and said, we need interpretation, maybe saying, oh, I used to interpret dreams long ago before this incarceration. Now I don't even know where to start. I've forgotten how it's done. That wasn't Joseph's case because he was a man that continued to hone his gift. He continued to sharpen his gift. He was able to say, I can interpret. And so Joseph went ahead and interpreted the dreams and accurately so. Fast forward, the Pharaoh had a dream and when he had his dream, he needed interpretation. And the butler said, I know someone who is able to interpret your dream. He interpreted mine accurately. Now, you need to know that uh, Pharaoh's dream wasn't any Mickey Mouse kind of dream. It was deep, it was complex. It took someone who was, had deepened his work with God to actually be able to interpret that dream. It took someone who ha had skilled himself, had, had sharpened his skills in interpretation to be able to interpret that dream. Long story short, he interpreted it accurately and, you know, uh, uh, it became a game changer for him. What amazes me so much is the fact that the way Joseph came out of prison was not like most prisoners. He didn't come out like, like most people who have been incarcerated. <laughs> uh, uh, Joseph came out and he became prime minister. Most people who have been incarcerated come out and they're thinking, how am I going to continue life? How am I going to work? Who is going to employ me? What will life look like when I'm out? Do you know this is the exact thing people are fearing right now? They're thinking after this lockdown, what is going to happen? Will I still have a job? Will my life still be okay? What will happen to me? I want to say to you, grow while you are there now. Don't die. If Joseph had died in prison, if he had allowed his dream die in prison, he would not be who he is or who he became later on. You need to be that person who grows so that by the time you come out, you have new things to offer. Joseph did not die in prison. You must not die in prison. You must not allow your gifts die while you're in prison. Don't be among those who are wondering what life will be like for them after incarceration. I want to declare to you that the path of the righteous is like a shining light that gets brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Your case is different. When you come out of this lockdown, when you come out, if you've been growing in confinement, your profiting will appear to all. I'm going to spend a couple of more weeks just uh, speaking some more on this subject and uh, discussing how we can actually grow in confinement. And I would like you to share this 
with as many as you can, especially with those who you know are struggling even uh, in confinement. God bless you. I'll see you again next time.